Well, according to written sources, Norway have been whaling since 1800. I have been in Antarctic 13 times, so I am a whaler. I was in exact the same as this one in 1947. I was a mess boy. This was my bed. So I had one square for one man, and I had one bathroom for, for 17. Paul Watson tried to sink it, and he has sink about six of them. You are from state and never heard about Paul Watson. Paul Watson is no longer in Greenpeace, and, and that's, that's a common misunderstanding that, that people think is still associated. He was expelled uh, in the early 80s because of his, his tendency to use violence. Uh, willing to die for the sake of the whales, Paul Watson thinks that the whale looks at the whalers as Nazis. The type of whaling that we conduct today with engine boats and harpoon cannons started from, well, 1930s. I, I don't consider myself a shepherd of the oceans. I, I do this to make a living. It's uh, very simple. I have. I would prefer to have no uh, opinion on uh, how Mr. Watson is thinking. And I think as long as he do something, it's better than doing nothing. And if his focus is fighting whalers, that's fine with me. I mean, when they, they put environmentalism in a very bad light for, for common people, it shouldn't be like that. It's, a, it's a, and the issue of, of continued whaling is, is abused as a huge distraction. You know what's going on. There's a high pressure from the fishery industry to take away top predators. We are the police of the sea. Paul Watson in the sea, I thought he's a terrorist. For me, Watson is a very good man. Trying to take care of the big animals in the 